guys. How y'all doing out there? It's Adani K here, and welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you've been here for not once, not twice, three times, four times, five. If you've been here to support me, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of Modix Doe Pour Femme. This yummy, yummy fragrance in honor of Fragrance Day, Fragrance Week. Honey, you're getting an extra video. So, let's, it's lit, like, it's lit. Because this fragrance here is a springtime charmer. cap is the hardest thing to put on. It really has to be angled in place. <laughs> but I'll keep it on for the time being. This is a beautiful dark chocolate scent with berry notes. It has some cherry in there, some raspberries, some strawberry, all the berries. And it's so freaking beautiful. I love this scent. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, when I was searching for this scent, I was looking for something um, cherry. I um, am fresh out of my Sinful by Okja, which is a dupe for Tom Cherry, Tom, Cherry, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And I'm definitely going to still reorder it because nothing beats the quality of Okja. Like, I tried to go around it, but <laughs> um, the quality, the scent, nothing else can duplicate Tom Ford's Lost Cherry like Oaksha did. And that's just off rip. But does it mean that I didn't still find me a very beautiful, very affordable fragrance? Hmm. Now for me, instead of um, a lost cherry which is what I see a lot of the videos a lot of the videos that I looked up when I was looking for cherry fragrances from Middle Eastern houses I saw Modest Doe pop up several times and that's why I initially went with the purchase but what I've come to realize with Middle Eastern houses is that you have to let their fragrances macerate so I'm going to put this down for about a month and get back to it in the midst of spring and see what it's giving, even though I love what it's giving now. But this is just an initial review. I just received the scent about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so I just wanted to bring you guys a fresh video because it came right in time for Fragrance Week and I had to let y'all know what's tea. But if you're looking for a sensual, dark, creamy fragrance, um, to preferably be worn in the night, I would say get your hands on Modest, Modest Doe. This is definitely a unisex fragrance. I definitely don't see any men wearing this, even though it has some amber nuances. And it has musk in the base note. I definitely think this is definitely feminine leaning. Definitely. Um, for age range for this perfume, I would say this is definitely your mature fragrance. But by mature, I'd say 30 or above. 
not nothing too crazy, but 30 and above for sure. Um, I see this being worn with something very, very sexy, very dressed up, um, maybe a nice black dress, um, just something nice, maybe even lingerie. This is something that you really want to wear like in the night when you're going out um, on the town just living life you know whether you're partying going out on a date I think this is a perfect 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 date night scent I would wear this um, in any season but I would just wear it at night because something about that amber like something about the way the amber plays with the berries it just gives me nighttime sprayed on my skin too and it smells so good. I am not mad at this fragrance at all. It smells even better on my skin than it does on the paper. I hope I can report back to you on the longevity of this fragrance. Um, but I just got her so I can't speak to it just yet. You can purchase this on Amazon for $29, on Joma Shop for $25, um, $25.99. So I think that's a good bet. Um, yeah. Please be sure to like so I know you found this content interesting. Be sure to comment to engage with me and other fragrance lovers. And subscribe to see more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one.